Well, greetings, hello, and welcome on back. Episode number seven coming at you of our ongoing tutorial-based, kind of vanilla, slightly modded uh, Let's Play series. Welcome on in. Yeah, if you're just joining us for the first time, we are focusing on some highway stuff right now. We've got one more episode on uh, on the docket for that. And last episode, we built a single point urban interchange. Pretty crazy. Between episodes, I spent about two hours um, fixing everything that I kind of got wrong. So not that I got it wrong, I just made it better this time, right? So we're five lanes wide in the middle of the uh, urban interchange. We've got a custom time traffic light that's now working. We've got the intersection marking tool like totally like done through the uh, wazoo right here. Everything's marked, everything's organized. The roundabouts themselves now have two lanes for every entry and exit, just expanded on a couple. I think the real win, which is also a very vanilla friendly um, approach to dealing with this uh, traffic, is we took the pedestrians out of the equation. So they have a nice uh, handsome bridge right here, this green covered one. And I'll link this asset in the description if you wanted to use this yourself. So pedestrians, they just cross one point of the roundabout now. No need to worry about the single point. And uh, it looks really cool too. A little underground uh, loop, bring them back to uh, ground level. And we could have definitely gone over top, but I thought it was nice to like just sneak it underneath for some reason. I don't know. It probably would have been easier over top actually now that I see this again, but... You know, it's like, it's, yeah, less, less clear and stuff to worry about. So that's my excuse. Anyway, today's episode, we find ourselves tackling once again another highway project. And that's um, yeah, perfect timing, too. You see, we're just getting a little bit of backup on our first main starting vanilla interchange. And uh, today's theme is to rebuild this. So let's go ahead and get a couple things out of the way here. And uh, I was kind of just thinking about, like, you know, shapes and sizes and, like, what kind of intersection to build. And I thought we'd just maybe um, go a little bit out in left field and just embrace whatever ends up being. So I think that kind of calls for a big old plate of spaghetti right here, eh? A spaghetti interchange. Yeah, we have a lot of random factors here, and there's nothing wrong with trying to make these like perfectly symmetrical interchanges. Nothing at all wrong. I just struggle a little bit, and I feel like we got so many variables right now. We have the river on one side, we have um, a, you know a set of arms right over here we have to try to work in. We've got another interchange right next to it, so lots of variables. I feel like because of all these variables, we'll just build something that's just yeah, kind of fun, kind of meanders, has some looping arms. It's one of those kind of stack interchanges that you would drive towards in real life and be like, how in the heck did this even come about? Well, let's find out, shall we? So we'll leave the uh, baseball diamond just to kind of get a point of reference here. Otherwise, I'm going to build this in a slow, meticulous order. So if you wanted to follow along at home, you are very, 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 very easy or very capable. Yeah, it should be easy to do. That's a lot of varies. All right. So number one, we are putting in our overhead uh, bridge. I'm going at a height of 10 meters. We could do, you know, anywhere between 9 and 12. We're probably going to adjust these afterwards, though. But this effectively is, like, more or less the minimum distance required so a truck doesn't get uh, squished or anything. And because we're going to be adding at least another uh, stack on top, I don't want this to be, like, super, super tall. So we'll, we'll adjust everything after, but I think that's a good height to start with. All right, so, yeah, number one. We got these in place right here. We can worry about all the directions after. I will change some here and there, but we'll do a final check at the end here, because I guarantee I'm going to miss something. All right, so about six units long at roughly a 45 degree angle coming out. That's the shape I'm going for right now. And these guys here are going to loop around and they're going to go down and underneath and they're going to kind of act like a uh, partial cloverleaf for at least part of the, um, the build right here. All right, so I pressed the home button. That was a great tip. I actually didn't know about that one. So pressing the home button when you have the movement mod brings the um, uh, step all the way down to zero again. So if you are not using the network multi-tool, this is going to be just probably a few steps, nice and slow. Uh, go down a little bit as you um, complete your loop. But I'm going to take the lazy man's approach. I'm going to go into my network multi-tool, my loop mode, and we'll just connect these two together. Shrink that down slightly. And that's the plus and the minus sign. These are right next to your backspace key. And then we'll just press enter. And because it's network multi-tool, it does the slope and everything uh, built in. That's really, really cool. Okay, so we can connect a bit more of this side together now. So I want that to be bridge the whole way. 
and we'll uh, play with the slope on a second right here. And then this is where things get a little bit crazy, if I do say so myself. So I want to split traffic in a fun way here. We're going to give people the option to come off of this and then enter. And then we're also going to give people the option to come out of this way and enter. So multi-lane usage is going to be pretty, uh, pretty cool through here. So that means that one's going to go further down. I'm going to turn on my Anarchy mod here. And my main takeaway is it's behind where the cars will enter. So this will help kind of like feed the lanes a little bit more effectively here. Shouldn't have as much um, issues with that. That node was a little bit too close. That's why your little arrows there got kind of caborked. So I may have to redraw that segment. Packing our patience. That's the main thing as well. Oh, okay, never mind. There you go. So that comes in that goes over this could get shrunk down to one lane as well to make that a bit easier to uh to work with and then like the second lane would exit up to here right okay so this is going to have the option to go into here and we need just enough room that we can sneak this guy in so we'll put that back and that should sneak in rather nicely underneath the bridge when it's all said and done and then this guy should find a way comfortably into there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Thank God for the move it mod. I still remember the time where all of this stuff had to be done by hand. Crazy to think of how, like, this game has evolved. Almost feels like an entirely different game at this point. Yeah, those from the very beginning days, you know what I'm talking about. You could not change the direction of your one-way roads. There was no day-night cycle. There were no tunnels. Like, it's absolutely wild how far this game... I'm dead serious. You could not change the direction of your one-ways. They had to be placed in the order in which you wanted the driving to be done. And that in itself was such a headache sometimes, eh? My very first tutorial video on YouTube shows that. And I have so many people that come in and they're like, Oh, you know you can uh, change the direction there, bro. All right, sloping these so it visually looks a little bit nicer. But for those of you building alongside at home, we've done kind of half of it. Not fully, but kind of half. So that means that if you're driving straight and you wanted to turn right, this is your option right here on that little collector lane. This is you coming from the city into this if you wanted to turn right and get onto the highway. And then if you're going over the bridge, this is you uh, swinging right to go left. So that's that side done. Okay, uh, next thing on the list is I'm going to grab, coming from here, I want this to sneak into there. Pretty straightforward. And then this is a little bit crowded now, so I'm going to make this one into a roundabout. And 40 units for the size right there, that should be pretty good. Okay, so we can make that a bit of a faster in and out so the traffic can get a nicer angle. The angle of attack. Yeah, you know, if you're vanilla or console, you just redraw this a couple times here. That's that's kind of the idea. And then from, um, uh, from this guy, we're going to have a road that goes up and over. And it's going to sneak into this side. So that'll be our next little thing we're going to build right here. So this goes out. We're going to go, I think, a little bit wider with this one. Because we're going to have to make sure that we've got enough clearance to go up and over this part of the ramp. And then I'm going to try again the looping mode from the network multi-tool. And we'll just see what we end up with. This is such a handy way to build... Uh, oh, that's a slope mode. Why work hard when you can work smart, right? Okay, so that's not bad. That's kind of what I'm after. I think the height is going to be a bit of an issue. So I'm going to just go ahead and press enter. But I'm going to change the nodes afterwards. But principally, this is what I'm looking for right here. And of course, with enough clearance to get over top everyone, right? Okay, so the power lines, that's fine if we lose those. These just go towards the water turbines. In general, we need more power anyway. 
So another power plant's coming. So that's nothing to stress about, right? There you go. So that's your way up, over, and in. Nice. You can turn to the right. Lovely roundabout. Perfect. And let's fix our slope right here. So these are going to be the exact same height until we clear the um, uh, the highway, and then we'll start going down. So let's do object height, match this guy up here, and then we'll slope from here downward. And if that's too steep, that's not too bad. If that had been too steep, though, we could have raised uh, this guy up a bit. So we build these a little bit bigger than they need to be. So we've got a lot of room for error and a lot of room for these just like gentle, um, gentle fixes. Okay, just because the pillars are in a little bit of a weird spot, I'm going to move some of these bad boys over. It'll redraw the pillar. I can even do a control Z. I can undo the movement, but the pillar is going to remain, which is kind of nifty. So if you like the original shape of it, I think it's just kind of a personal preference at this point. Same idea here. Move that over to get the pillar to pop into place. Then we'll just move that pillar in. Thank God this game is not cruel. And you have to like... You imagine to worry about like weight and balance. Bridge would tip over if you didn't have these things in place. Oh my goodness, eh? Another way to do it, you can grab the pillar. You can do a copy with the movement mod. And you can just toss it in wherever it feels like it needs to be. These kind of situations though, you got to be a bit cautious. Because, you know, in real life, the, uh, the safety factor. Also, if you're someone that likes doing detailing, this is where the rain barrels guardrails that kind of stuff would be right may have mentioned that before in a previous episode but i feel like sometimes i'm a little repetitive but you never know right you never know okay so this is not too bad this shape could even be brought in a little bit if we wanted to make that a tighter curve that's not bad as well right there as a matter of fact all right i'm happy with that so order of operations what have we done here we built the bridge first we did the partial clover leaf We've attached a whole bunch of craziness to this side, and I was keeping the original baseball diamond shape. We added that lane coming in from the left-hand side, which sneaks over, the one onto the right. And the idea here is just to help kind of like feed traffic. And then if we did not do it this way, we'd have to have that connection come in a little bit tighter so there'd be enough room for both of the um, lanes to merge and then share. But I feel like this is a cooler way. Okay. Whew. Enough room in between here so we can do some lane changes. That's pretty good. This is not a dedicated turn. It could be though, and that would give you enough chance to like leave and then still dedicate, but fine by me. Okay, now let's do on the other side, let's do the partial clover leaf so this thing can swing around and then go underneath. And we might have to um, uh, possibly move that uh, wind turbine. Let's just do that now, be safe. And then not that it really matters, but we could, if we wanted to, stretch these over as well. And we'll do our best to line up the uh, pillars here. And that'll be the same start and end point. And if that's the case, then, oh boy, you're going to be a little bit challenging, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, if that's the case, let's try to match what we got here. So I'm going to click on that one. That, oh, hmm. Hmm. You going to work for me? Okay, there you go. Trial and error. I wonder if I can get the suspensions in the same spot. That would be really, really handy. So I'm going to use the Move It mod. Sorry, not the Move It mod. I'm going to use the uh, uh, Fine Road Tools, F-I-N-E, to uh, cheat a little bit here. So I'm going to switch this to be back over and be only this way. And then can I make this one here? No, it's not going to let me. Okay, well, if I wanted to make these That's both the same... Yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah, that's really... That's odd. That switch this over. And that's why it... These are the moments where I lose momentum. It just breaks my heart when they don't work the way I want them to. Yeah, I kind of thought this would be like a picture-perfect uh, both sides, eh? Obviously not the end of the world if our pillars aren't identical. But let's see if we can make this look a little bit nicer. That's... That's looking cleaner. Yeah, generally speaking, if you line up the nodes where you start and end, the pillar should be in about the same spot. We'll grab our nodes right here using the movement mod. Nice uniform height. And then you never know. Maybe we can get lucky here with the suspension. <laughs> Absolutely not. 
Well, you can't blame a guy for trying, can you? Okay. Back onto this, please. Press our home button. All right. So again, we're going to do our best to ballpark this. Not stressing too much if things aren't perfectly symmetrical. Stuff that we can control that could be symmetrical is where the on and offs are going to meet. So that we can do our best with. And as long as there's enough room for this guy to come and then loop down and make its way in. I feel like going like this might be a little bit awkward. But if we go a little bit further down and then loop, that also might look cool. So we'll see. All right, speaking of loops, back over to here. That's not bad. I'm going to shrink that down just so it matches the loop on the other side. That's cool. I feel like visually this is already hopefully starting to, to meet some of your, or even beat some of your expectations. I think I had you guys scared when I said I was going to build a, uh, a super crazy, ridiculous stack when we start. So yeah, we could, like I was saying, we could do this as long as it's not too steep looking. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Otherwise, the other option would be, yeah, we uh, we corkscrew in and around. A bit more like a, uh, a traditional clover leaf. What if we go a bit further back and then a bit further that way? Yeah, I'd be okay with that. A little bit easier too to uh, to copy alongside. There does somewhere exist that perfect angle to come in at, eh? I think the issue there was we had the two nodes that are very close together. And I wonder if we actually got rid of that node, if that would help. Yeah, it did. Cool. Network multi-tool. If you haven't started using it already, you'll need unified UI because you need one more spot to add some buttons. So network multi-tool has got a multitude of things here. Some fixes for your roundabouts. You can unlock segments for um, things like your harbors. Add, remove nodes. You can flip the direction to say the keys. You know when the terrain gets all weird. The looping, the sloping. A lot of cool features in this, eh? All right, so that that's fine for me. That looks a lot better than I actually thought it would. Uh, just on the off chance of us being able to make this look nicer, I'm gonna try sloping this. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. And so then we could uh, make that little segment there into elevated. That's the picker to get the highway using fine road tools, F-I-N-E, to switch that to be elevated. And then we can take, lastly, the node controller, click on this, and we can slope the node. And that's not bad at all. I feel like that could be... Yeah, it really does like that little, little bit extra, eh? So if I move this guy a bit, that'll help with that. Listen closely. Nice. It's the sound of... That cola being poured did not sound cold. Just putting that out there. All right, so node controller. We're going to delete that little segment right there. Sometimes they get a little bit caborked when they're touching. All right, cool. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So there's the way to go to the right. You have the way to go straight, and then you have the way to go left. So that is one direction, fully covered. I believe we have the same thing for this side too. So you can go left, right, or straight. That is correct. From over here, oh man, oh man, oh man. All right, so I'm going to buy this tile right here. This will allow us to add a little bit more of the uh, Express Collector kind of arms going through here. And this is where things get, like, I'm not going to lie. I might, yeah, I might lose some of you here. I hope not, though. hope you're still on board with this project, but you'll, you'll see what I have in mind right now. All right, so I need a road that is going to go up and over top of this guy. All right, so we'll do a little bit of trial and error here. Try to line this up just right. Cool. Okay, I'm going to grab the nodes and I'm going to go a little bit taller. And all we're trying to make sure is that there's enough clearance for trucks. And then also bonus points if we're not blocking any um, uh, poles or anything like that, right? Okay, and then this, this is where things get a little bit wacky. This goes all the way over to here and is going to loop up and meet up with this guy. 
and we're gonna do it in just yeah just enough room that we can sneak on by and you know it would have been kind of bonus points if these matched up eh? so why don't we try to bring that guy in to the same uh, point so it's good that we move the turbine and some of those water things pumps I believe is the word I'm looking for and then this is where we're gonna get a little bit tricky but we'll do our best I can't even like desert island mod by a long shot is the movement mod every other mod I think I could find workarounds where the movement mod the quality of life that it brings you know it's just it it's not replaceable everything else I could be hmm close second traffic president that's it make that a little bit closer just that clearance part there is the uh, the real challenge right Don't want anyone's load to uh to bonk a uh, bridge or anything like that, right? Okay, so that's fine. That's fine by me. Might even no, I think that's good. I think that's good right there. So this is going to make its way down here, very gentle, nice, nice long exaggerated slope, and that'll make its way into our main highway. And this gives us the green light for later if we wanted to continue with an express and a collector system. Because now we can kind of like divide the traffic when they're coming in and out of the city. And then if you're not looking to leave any exits or really just interact with the city at all, stay to the express. Go the whole way. But if you want to use any of the exits, now you've got some lanes to take you in and out. So collect your lanes. Collect you. Clever how that works, eh? And then so um, in order to make this make sense, we also now need a connection that comes from here that loops up into this. And then we'll take advantage of these heights right here. And we'll move that guy in. In case you're wondering, Imperial, what on... Do I, I, gave a little, I gave us a little trial run, so I had an idea, right? In case you're like, where are you pulling all this out of your... Like, what is this? Don't worry, don't worry. So we sneak out of here. And then we hopefully find a clean way to merge these two together. And this will be a bit of trial and error. Okay, so that's, according to the um, sloping tool here, that is the, the smallest slope I can do. I can only make this bigger. So I wonder if we maybe tighten up the uh, the curve slightly here. If that'll help us out. Oh, yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That could not have gone any better. So that's you now leaving the secondary interchange and then adds you to this collector arm. So if you wanted to continue over the bridge and then go into like what will be the golf and country club <clears throat> and then the other side of our uh, downtown or I mean not really downtown, other side of the river. That's your option. <clears throat> yeah, so we'll double check everything in one quick second here, but I feel like we're still missing... Um, at least one arm here. Let's double check everything though. I'm, I'm kind of drawing a weird blank in my mind. But yeah, so you're going straight. This is you. Leaving. Roundabout. Perfect. You can go right. Perfect. You can go left. Excellent. And then if you do go left, you still have the option to grab that interchange there. Perfect. Okay, next road. You're coming in this way. You exit to the right. You have the option to go up and over to the left. And you can go straight. And that still connects you to the next interchange. Thumbs up right here. All right, what do we got on this side? So the slope will clean that up. Otherwise, if you wanted to go to the right, that's your way through. Cool. If you wanted to go left, you've got the ability... Oh, that's what's missing. That's what's missing. This is why we talk ourselves through these things. So I think for us to do a convincing left, we could either go underneath or over top. And then say connect um, up here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I thought we'd miss one, eh? Yeah, and you know what? From a symmetrical perspective, if we did this and we had the right clearance and the height over top, I think that would be the win. Yep. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one though, eh? Okay, maybe we go from this one. Okay, so tossing that there. Going to be a little bit tight. No worries, though, because we've got the option to go straight and to the right there. 
And then I need... Then yeah, we'll just give this a try. Yeah, it does. It does seem to me that going underneath actually might be a better option, eh? Let's give that a let's give that a try instead. It's a little bit more um, more room to work with, and I feel like also objectively, also if we were to move this back just a little bit further say by that one node and keep it a bit tighter, we'd have more room to sneak underneath. Yeah, something like that, you know? Okay, let's fix this. It's a fun challenge. Embracing the inner spaghetti. What are we going to do for the thumbnail? A big uh, bowl of pasta, maybe? Okay, so that's your way... In. That's not too sharp. We can probably fix that with a slope and a hot sec, but let's get this guy going here and then we'll fix that slope too. That's nifty. So shrink that down. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. And let's see if we can get the heights and everything to work here. So the main question is, can we get low enough underneath the bridge? with enough time to bring the height back up and not make it look too uh, too wacky. Million dollar question right here coming at you. Yeah, that's honestly, that's not bad, eh? That's not bad. So we'll get rid of these pillars right here. Oh, it's so cool. All right, wind, uh, water turbine moved just over. Or water pump. And then this guy was coming from that node over to here. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think we now have it all. So let's get the uh, slopes and everything cleaned. And then we'll just double check all our directions again. I think we actually got it though. How about them apples? Oh yeah. I am so confident, I'm actually going to press play right now. Yep, I think we've done it. Okay, don't be confidently incorrect here. Start this all over from the beginning. So, if you're driving on the bridge towards the city and you wanted to go left, does that option present itself? Um, no, it doesn't! Oh, for Pete. No, it does. No, it does. Oh, for goodness sake. See, this is what happens when you're too close to the project. Yes, it does. So, you're going up and over the bridge. This is you going left by sneaking underneath. That's the first thing we build. Of course it works. You can go right, you can go straight. Perfect. That's all your directions covered. Over here. So there's the ability to go fix that node. I just noticed that as well. Good eye. That's a straight node now. Yeah, so the ability to turn right, the ability to turn left, and the ability to go straight. Perfect. We have the ability to turn left. We have the ability to turn... Um, right, sorry, <laughs> right and left, and go straight, yeah. This one here, if we back it up a bit, that's the ability to turn right and go left and go straight. I believe that covers every every base now. Yeah, yo, I feel like I'm missing something, but I think we got it though, eh? That is not bad looking either. That looks great. Okay, let's fix the slopes. And then just like last episode, I'm going to spend probably like an hour, let's be real, uh, fixing a couple things. I'm, I'm sure I missed something. Eh? This is going too well right now. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I'll go in with the intersection marking tool and that kind of stuff. So you'll see some improvements between the episodes. Otherwise, man, this is just did this just work? Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's functional. I'm, I'm very confused right now. Yep, I like it. This is really cool. I cannot wait to see traffic go the other side of the city, too. Wow, this turned out so much better than I thought. All right, so we've been neglecting trees. Let me go ahead and throw a whole bunch of those in alongside just to kind of fill this back in. And then if you're looking for just some fun, casual decorations for an interchange, if you happen to have the Natural Disasters DLC, let me throw a power plant in really quickly here. If you happen to have the Natural Disasters DLC, head on over to um, 
the fire tab and click on your disaster. You got a couple cool uh, props you can use right here. I kind of thought we'd have that one unlocked, but I'll toss in a, a short radio mask. No, let's, let's, uh, let's just do a house or two. We're just so close here. Let me, let me toss a condo in. Here's a Rico building here. That's a tall, tall building. It's a little bit too much for what we're after. Oh, that's one of the mixed... <laughs> you can never get what you want really quickly. Eh? There you go. How many households is this? Uh, 55. That might be 200 worth of people. Okay. Power, good. Let's see if we can get the population a little bit higher here. We might even zone a smidgen of uh, residential. Anyway, let's not uh, stress about that. Oh, actually, you know what? Sorry, sorry. Do stress because the population's moving. Don't lose momentum on the ending here. Yeah, kind of, you know, like, what are we doing? Get this built. Not enough money. Oh, man, this is starting to fall apart here. Oh, big town. Perfect. Okay. Momentum is back on our side. Yeah, so if you wanted to maybe do a little bit of casual detailing, starting that sentence back up here, grab the larger of the radio mass. This looks awesome. And then just toss this near one of your um, uh, ramps and then bonus points if we can get this looking just flush and then it's very fun to do a little bit of make-believe and pretend like we've got a uh, little access service road or something getting onto here so we can take a um, concrete pathway no one should use this let's be real so don't have to worry about pedestrians, right? But and effectively, we effectively we're just trying to make like a little turnaround point and just make it seem like there's like some maintenance access, which is kind of fun. And I think like from the overhead, just a little bit more realism is uh is achieved this way. A little bit of overgrowth. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. And let's just do a little fence just to make this feel a little bit more uh, more real. And I think I think that's it. Bye, George. I think we've done it. Gaze at a gazelle. Lock eyes with a lemur. All right. Let's admire our handiwork here. Yeah, I'm proud of this. I don't know why I was so uh, worried. A lot of second guessing happened, eh? But it's turned out great. Size is good. The, um, the symmetry is not too bad in the grand scheme. It definitely has its charm, though. And I think it's like mission accomplished. Everyone's merging properly. We still got used to of all the uh, lanes here. And it'll look so much nicer when we come back with a painting. So there you go. All right. Well, I guess I'll uh, leave you here then, friends. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Not bad of an episode, eh? Yeah, so if you are building alongside, I want to see what you're up to. Join our Discord, post some pictures, hit me up on Twitter, that kind of stuff too. Otherwise, come find me and say hi in a live stream. Friends, thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next episode. And uh, yeah, I, just, I don't know. I'm looking over my shoulder right here. Like, it, what did we do wrong? What's missing? Nah, I'm goofing. This is great. Thanks for hanging out. Stay hydrated. Happy building. I look forward to seeing what you guys are up to. And uh, see you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves.